Hey, it's Eric up in Minnesota trying to keep you a couple degrees cooler. Today I am smoking wings on my big green egg, which I love to do. It's one of those things that you can smoke the wings for two hours or four. They stay juicy and moist and uh, really good. Uh, first of all, I start with good lump charcoal. You know, there are different brands out there. Some you get tiny little lumps. I like the big ones. They seem to, to work better. And that's uh, apple wood that I've soaked. I put that on top. You really don't need that much charcoal with the big green egg. This is probably too much. I, I still have some left over. This is how I start the big green egg. I just use a little propane bottle, put a little heat in one spot, and then I let it heat up from there. I, I don't light it in multiple spots, especially for smoking. If I was cooking steaks or something, I might start it in a couple spots. But that's the carbo uh, cowboy lump charcoal that I like to use. Um, it comes in big, good chunks, and that's what I like. When you're starting it, you want to leave the bottom and the top wide open, and that's what I'm showing there. I show this again uh, in the video in a little bit, but I like to turn the dial to my desired temp, having it be at 12 o'clock. This uh, being 250 degrees, I put the dial to 250 degrees. So now that it's warmed up to 250, I'm going to kind of close her down here. You can see I'm just burning in that one spot. That's the plate setter. I'm putting that down and I will put a pan of water on top of that. And I did close down underneath. Uh, I'll show you that here in a second. There was little scraps of wood. I just put it in the water. Who knows if it adds flavor or not. And that is a, uh, that's a half grate. So you can cook you know twice as much stuff on there. And I, I really like that. I just picked that up. Uh, now you you vary the temp by that by the air intake on the top and the bottom. There is one thing about the big green egg. You would think that that big green egg that you see there in the middle, uh, you know, that's written on there, should be facing towards you like I have it. But when you do that, you can see it opens, it falls open. So that's a real pain. So if you have a big green egg, put the big green egg wording out. And then that way, when you pick it up, that doesn't slide open. And again, I, I'm just tickled with myself about uh, putting that at 12 o'clock, so i got to show it again. But, you know, if it's at 700 degrees or 250, I, I, I do like doing that. It, it, it makes it simple to look from far away. Um, so, that's about how much I have it open for smoking. You can see the bottom is closed down a lot. I'm going to show you there is a spring behind there. Uh, a spring. A screen. <laughs> so, uh... It, you really have a lot of different tools to vary your temp. One thing I will say, though, uh, one, once you get it up to temp, you know, if it if it gets up to 250 or 200 or 220, it, it will kind of rise up and stay to a place. And I know when I first had the big green egg, I, I struggled with that. I, I tried to bump it up 10 degrees or down 10 degrees. The only advice I could give you there is once you get it to a temp, you know, if it's at 200 or 215 or 250, uh, for smoking, just leave it there and vary your cooking time instead of trying to, to mess with the temp because it, it's just really hard to do. Meanwhile, I'm putting on, I, I think I ended up putting 36 <laughs> uh, wings and legs on there. This is after about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm putting them on for about a two and a half, three hour smoke. There are, that plate setter that I put in, has holes, so there there do there are hot spots uh, where where the flames can kind of come up. So I like to come in every 20 minutes. This is after 40 minutes, and just make sure you know the the, the ones that are on the hot spot get rotated. I think here uh, we're at about an hour and a half. You can see it's definitely they're getting really smoky. Uh, I'm getting close to the part at about two hours where I start putting on barbecue sauce and leave that for the last about half hour of the smoke. These were delicious, by the way. I'm showing it off. <laughs> These were delicious, juicy. Uh, that, 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 that's the one thing I really like. It, like I say, you could cook these wings on here for four hours at 2, 250, and they're still just going to be tender and juicy and delicious. So adding the barbecue sauce for the last little bit there, they're ready to go, ready to come off. If you are in the market for a big green egg and you can afford one, get one. You will love it. 
If you're not, make your own smoker. I mean, I really have a lot of fun smoking. I didn't know. I won this big green egg. So I don't know if I personally would have been able to afford this ever, but I love smoking. And, of course, that's that's the chef's little bit. Leave it on there, crisp them up a little bit. That's how I like it. And uh, just plate them up here at the end. So if you have any questions, uh, please write them below. Comments, gripes. I'm doing stuff wrong. That's fine. Uh, please like it as well. Take the time to do that for me. Have a great day.